Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel Travel Wonderful. Hello my wonderful people, how are you? With this beautiful background here in one of the most important thermal baths in all Europe. I am here in Budapest and I want to invite you to watch this video until the end because Budapest is definitely an important European city that you got to visit at least once in your lifetime. So remember to subscribe to the channel if you like this video and remember to leave a comment below. Enjoy the video! Travel Wonder. Begin by visiting one of the most important landmarks not only in Budapest but in all Hungary, the Buda Castle, which is a beautiful huge complex located in the heart of the town of Budapest and it dates back to 1265 pretty much, uh, give or take. It's a very very old complex which was used as a royal palace as well and it's really beautiful. I highly recommend to come here and spend at least two or three hours because it's really big. This is also home to some museums and libraries. As you can see people gather here in one of the many fountains here in the Buddha Castle complex to take pictures and it's all the surroundings of this place. It's really beautiful to be honest. You got even cafes, restaurants, if you want to enjoy a relaxed day uh, like today here in the Buddha Castle which was a former royal residence in which the kings of Hungary once lived. It dates back pretty much to 12 65 is so many many years ago and the architecture is still very very beautiful and if you cannot feel your legs anymore after visiting the Buddha castle complex make sure you take, you take the funicular uh, railway from here in the Buddha castle uh, it's literally just on the outside of the Buddha castle complex it's a bit of expensive in my opinion but if you're really tired and you don't want to walk all the way down of the castle it's a good option and this way you can also enjoy beautiful views of the city of Budapest and enjoy the ride of the funicular railway. Look, this is the queue to take the funicular railway to go up the Buddha Castle complex area. It's very, very expensive. It was roughly to exchange um, to give you in US dollars around 12 US dollars. So yeah, if you want to enjoy um, not climb a lot, a lot of steps to go upstairs or to go down, yes, it's a good choice. Funicular. I'm very bad pronouncing this word, uh, railway of the Buddha Castle. Obviously, you use it to go up or to go down. After going to the Buddha Castle and going down in the funicular Buddha Castle railway, you need to pass through the chain bridge, which is as it is popularly known. It is the oldest suspension bridge in Budapest, connecting Buda and Pest. And in Hungarian, it's got its name in memory of the person that was helping to build this bridge. It was really, really sunny and suddenly came, became cloudy, but still very beautiful. a religious person or not, another most visit when coming to Budapest is St. Stephen Basilica, which was constructed over a period of 50 years. It started its construction in 1851 and it was finished in 1905. St. Stephen's Basilica is a tribute to Hungary's first king, uh, St. Stephen, and it's actually got a holy relic inside of the basilica, which can be found very easy inside of the church. It has the holy hand of St. Stephen, which is said to be a monument, which is actually a real hand and mummified and which is said to be holy and it cannot be you know like corrupted it looks in very good state even though it is mummified you can have a look here it's really really interesting a lot of people obviously gather to take pictures and videos of this holy hand you have a, a lot of beautiful beautiful architecture inside of the church and in the outside as well it is neoclassical style and it's very well maintained i got to say it's really really beautiful so whether you are religious person or not i highly recommend here you got also the treasury which you know holds uh, very important uh, religious artifacts you can see you know like even from the vatican you can see you know uh, artifacts that have been you know given as a tribute to this beautiful church it is important to know that if you pay for the only one ticket you got access to the basilica church uh, the treasury and also you got access to the lookout which is an impressive sort of terrace at the very top of the basilica the dome uh, which offers very beautiful panoramic views of all the city of Budapest. So highly, highly recommended. St. Stephen's Basilica. So after its 
exploring the basilica and the treasury, you can go all the way up with your ticket, only one, uh, to this beautiful terrace, which is the very top of the basilica. Have a look, it's really, really nice. It offers you panoramic views of all the city, so it's definitely worth it. Obviously, a lot of people, you have to queue up a little bit to take the lift to go up. Um, there are no stairs, so it's just one lift, and some stairs just in emergency but it's really worth it the wait. It has different viewpoints in which you can come, take pictures and videos if you wish so. But yeah, basically from here you feel on top of the world. Look at all this beautiful view of the city of Budapest. Amazing. The cost of the ticket was 4,500 in Hungarian currency, which is not bad considering it includes me, you know, access to uh, the, you know, the basilica, church, treasury and the lookout terrace, highly recommended, really good price as well. Another historical and important landmark you can visit when coming to Budapest is the Great Synagogue which takes back to 1854. It was constructed between 1854 and 1859, and it actually survived World War II. This is an important synagogue because it is the largest in all Europe. It is actually a Europe uh, heritage site, and it is the second largest in the whole world. It can accommodate up to 3,000 people in this complex. This is also a place uh, which serves as a tribute and memorial of the victims of the Holocaust. In fact, we got at the very courtyard this weeping metal tree which has, you know, served as a memorial of the victims of the Holocaust and each metal leaf has a name of a victim of the Holocaust. This is, you know, pure history, regardless you are a religious person or not. Um, as I said also when visiting the St. Stephen Basilica, it is an important landmark, culture, you know, general knowledge. It's a very impressive synagogue which has very impressive architecture. It represents uh, Moorish, Byzantine and Gothic architecture. So yeah, definitely worth it. You can feel this sort of, you know, like energy which transport you to many uh, years ago when you are, you know, listening about the history and looking at all this, you know, like victims of the Holocaust. But uh, yeah, definitely a uh, site uh, that you got to respect as well. You got also to be dressed, you know, like properly when coming in here. You can use the cap in here, uh, but obviously you need to use, you know, long trousers. Uh, they check your bag when coming in. They kept my drone, but they're gonna leave me at the very end of my visit here. So definitely a, a worth visit the Great Synagogue here in Budapest. The ticket gives you access, obviously, to the inside interiors of the synagogue, the Jewish uh, Museum, which, you know, contains important Jewish artifacts collected throughout, you know, many years, and obviously the courtyards and the memorial site. I think it's worth it. I thought it was a bit expensive, the ticket, in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. But obviously, it's definitely worth it. Far from the Great Synagogue, we got this uh, bar restaurant, which is really, really beautiful. It's basically where gastronomy and nature meet. It's this place which is sort of decorated in a jungle vegetation style. It's really, really beautiful. Um, in here, you can have some cocktails, some beer, and even some food if you wish so. I got to say, the food is not very cheap. If you want, you could just have your you know, a drink. Really, really beautiful decorated. Uh, it's called 26. And as I said before, it's roughly five to 10 minutes walk from the Great Synagogue. So yeah, really, really cool place. Another amazing place you can visit when coming to Budapest is the Su Cafe, which is not an ordinary coffee place. It is more than that. It is a place in which you can enjoy and share with stunning and exotic animals while enjoying a coffee, while having a cake, while having a lemonade or a snack. In here, the zookeepers will always answer all your questions regarding the animals and also how to handle them in a responsible way in order to not harm them. It is a very nice environment, especially designed for families that cannot have pets and would like 
to have a special relationship with animals. It is a very nice and relaxed environment, so I highly recommend it. I'm talking about really cool bars. Not far from the 26 bar and restaurant, we got the set Simple Curve Bar, which is located roughly 10 minutes walk from the 26 bar. And it is the oldest ruin bar in all Budapest, and it's considered the best one. Why? Because it's got so many different environments, different rooms, different bars. You can even find food. And the decoration is really cool. It gives you the vibe like if you are in a pirate ship, I don't know, like in a disco, I don't know, sort of everything. I have come right now in the afternoon when it's not so busy because it gets really, really packed later in the evening. Go even like old pianos, like really cool bars, as I said before. Uh, in here, you can enjoy, you know, uh, relaxed beer or your favorite cocktails. Really, really cool, really worth it. Um, the translation of its name is like the cool garden or the outside garden, uh, being told. So, yeah, really, really cool, especially in nice summer days like today. Uh, really cool place to visit here in Budapest, the set simple curve bar. Another most visit you got to do when coming to Budapest is the Hungarian Parliament, which is one of the most important buildings, not only in Budapest, but in all Hungary. It dates back to 1888, and it was finished in 1905. Uh, so it took 17 years to complete this amazing uh, architecture, which is neo-gothic. So it offers one of the most beautiful views as well of the capital city of Hungary, because it's in front of the Danube River. So look at all this aerial I'm showing you. Very, very incredible. Um, I got to say that you got to come here very, very early because I just came at 11 in the morning and it was sold out the tickets to go in the inside. But in a sunny day like today, it's really, really hot. I prefer to be outdoors. So enjoy the outside of this incredible parliament. I got to say that, um, I got to tell you a bit of my experience as well because I was flying my drone and I read everywhere about the rules to fly the drones in here and it was saying that the, you could fly pretty much everywhere, you just needed to be careful, you know, obviously uh, with the crowds and not to fly so near of the buildings. I was flying the drone, you know, like decent distance of the parliament and yes, I took like a quick shot of the river, the parliament and then obviously when I landed the drone after a few minutes I had some officers coming to me saying that what I was for why I was flying the drone these kind of things asking me what I'm doing here in Hungary stuff like that so oh, look at this impressive so yeah obviously they say that this is um, official building and no drones are allowed you know for obvious reasons security and all of that but um, they were very friendly at the end they just took my name, I told them about the channel, Travel Wonderful, one of them even make a joke saying, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go and dislike your video <laughs> for flying the drone over here. But that was it. They just told me to be careful. They told me I could fly pretty much everywhere, but not around here. Oh yeah, that was the story of my experience here coming to the Hungarian parliament. But obviously I explained them as well that the whole intention of taking this area of the parliament was to make an amazing shot and obviously attract more tourists to come to Budapest. That's the whole, you know, intention of making YouTube videos about Budapest, not doing any sort of bad thing to the country or to Budapest. Um, they were pretty nice with me. They just say I got to be careful. They asked me what I do, what I live, all these things. They just took my details. They said nothing is gonna happen. There is no fine or anything, but I need to be careful. They said that the prime minister don't really like this kind of things, like drones and stuff near them. Uh, which I guess is for security reasons. But yeah, that was experience. I got to say, in <laughs> every trip, always something out of the ordinary happens. But that's what makes, you know, different kind of memories. And a very, very must visit when coming to Budapest, and definitely my favorite activity when coming in here, is to come to the thermal bus Cheneji. It is one of the most famous thermal bus pass in the whole world. It is considered the best in Europe, and it is one of the largest ones as well. It opened back in 1913, so it takes back to 1913, and it takes its name, Cheneji, because an important uh, character on Hungarian history, Ivan Count Cheneji, 
it is a very beautiful complex with neo-baroque style architecture with many swimming pools outdoors it's got indoor swimming pools as well it got saunas it got spas it got massage area relaxation area very very worth it the price to enter for one adult was roughly 30 euros it's not bad um, it does not include a towel so you have got to bring your own towel or you can pay for a towel here but it's definitely a must visit i'm very impressed with all the beautiful architecture especially all this beautiful color and this outdoor swimming pools give it a very special touch it gets so 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 busy so i highly recommend to come around 9 10 in the morning it opens at 7 in the morning but that's way too early so definitely the most busy so come and have a look with me so as you can see people is just relaxing enjoying themselves it's quite fun right there in the middle it's like a circle in which people goes around and they have fun got this one in which you can do a little bit more of like uh, regular swimming and we got another one there at the very end as well uh, each and one of them is very nice you know the temperature of the water it's uh, 30 degrees during the summer times and 35 degrees during the winter it is important to know that this water is actually comes from uh, thermals so it is actually very beneficial for the health and for your body it is safe and that's why it's very important to notice this uh, when coming here so yes come and enjoy yourself there are uh, bars restaurants so if you want to have a drink you can do it if you want to have food you can do it as well or if you want to do like me just enjoy yourself relaxing here you can do it i have come to the top of this wonderful architecture you can come here and take the sun or make videos like myself <laughs> it is a neo-baroque architecture which dates back to 1913 as i previously say really really beautiful it gives a lot of uh, you know color to the complex make it look even more beautiful than what it is already really really cool i really like the architecture from budapest i just entered now to the one of the swimming pools well the water is actually hotter than i expected it's really really hot well i guess it feels hotter because it's a really sunny day today you can see over there like in the screen it tells you the time the temperature of the water and the temperature outside so it's 28 degrees the water and 24 degrees uh, outside so yeah but really really nice i highly recommend it to come here it's quite good really nice uh, environment on there my feet i can feel you know like a uh, water you know going at high pressure so it's sort of like massaging my feet as well of this fountain why not fountain you know providing water into the swimming pool really really cool so apart from the outdoor swimming pools we got indoor swimming pools as well with all this thermal uh, lovely water hot water <laughs> and we got the saunas as well usually i cannot take the camera to the sauna because it's a bit more intimate and usually it's too hot for the camera but I'm not really into the mood of going to a sauna because it's a very, very, very hot day today. It's 28 degrees, the water, 24 degrees outside, but it feels like 30 degrees outside because it's quite sunny. So yeah, quite, you know, satisfied with this visit here. I highly recommend it, 10 out of 10. Thumbs up for Budapest and thumbs up for the Chinese thermal baths i am now in another one of the swimming pools and in this one actually the temperature is more pleasant it's not as hot in the very first one i went and it's pretty cool because you got right here in the middle this uh, circle in which, you know you got the water making a current in which you go circling around sort of fun yeah this is another one the swimming pool is really cool it's very crowded as well but it's really really pleasant uh, because it's not as hot the water really really good in this one as well you got a lot of fun times around the around the pool it's pretty cool you can relax a really nice day here in budapest this one right here in the middle is a bit more you know like normal swimming a bit more like professional swimming or regular swimming so unless you're not gonna swim you don't come in this one 
you want to swim properly then yeah, you can come to this one but I'm too lazy to swim properly so I'm not coming to this one now in the place that I was earlier in that sort of like terrace in that beautiful architecture it's quite a lot of people now taking the sun it's a really good spot to take the sun uh, when I was up there there was no one now it's a lot of people taking the sun over there really cool I just uh, bought a beer now, local beer in one of the many bars by the swimming pool just on that side. It was uh, 5 euros 50, a bit pricey in my opinion for one beer, local beer actually. But it is a touristic place so yeah it is kind of understandable. They have uh, restaurants. I had a look at the menu and I didn't see anything you know interesting in the menu so I'll probably eat that side. But in the meantime I'm just gonna enjoy my beer. Cheers! So overall I think it's pretty worth it, you know, you come here for a day, you come early in the morning and you leave in the afternoon or you come for the afternoon until in the evening. It opens at 7 in the morning and it closes at 8 p.m. So yeah, for 30 euros, you know, you go different kind of outdoor swimming pools with this lovely uh, water, uh, which is beneficial for your health. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. You got saunas, you got a bit of everything. You got bars, restaurants. I think it's pretty worth it, you know, to come with your friends, family, with kids really really good i really really like it i saw some people even playing chess on the water <laughs> that's pretty cool very creative so people playing you know outside as well of the swimming pool really really cool really nice experience i highly recommend to come here so this is a lovely chenengi thermal bath really really good Last but not least, I highly recommend you to discover Budapest during the afternoon on a boat trip along the Danube River, sip on unlimited glasses of high quality Prosecco or homemade lemonade as you admire the Hungary's capital top sites from the water. This cruise tour has a price of 25 US dollars but I got to say it is pretty worth it because you see Budapest from a different perspective and also you got unlimited glasses of Prosecco during the whole trip which it lasts one hour and a half really really good and which one is your favorite part of this video which one is your favorite part of budapest let me know in the comments below active your notifications and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i will be seeing you in the next video travel wonderful